What's going on, Raider Nation? So it is Friday, and uh, so that means we're going to talk about some injuries, see who's playing, who's questionable, who's doubtful, um, and see what the team is going to have to do to be successful against the Los Angeles Chargers this upcoming Sunday. Before we get into the video, I just want to say first and foremost, thank you guys for watching. Uh, do us a favor while you're watching, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, Comment below on your thoughts um, of these injuries. Also, be on the lookout for every Sunday, you know, barring illness or anything else. Uh, we'll be watching the Raiders game together, kind of like a hangout session with each other. Uh, this upcoming Sunday at 4.05, we'll be watching the Raiders and the Chargers play. The game will be on my channel, but we'll be watching it together. While you're watching it, I'll be watching it and we'll be able to discuss what's going on. Also, we've had a pretty good turnout on Mondays, and we want to make it even better. So just be sure to be there for our Monday afternoon, Sunday schedule reaction show, myself and Mikel Sports. Good guy, he's very insightful, and I think we're going to have a great show together. So, Also, when baseball starts up, Yankee Chatter, look out for East Coast Nation podcast, and any late-breaking news for the Las Vegas Raiders. So, um, listen, the Raiders are 4-3. and three. They are on a chance. They have a really good chance to have a really good record this year. And going up against the Chargers, I'm not going to lie, I think this is going to be one of the tougher games that they have. Not because of the team, but because of the potential of players not being in the game. So, going through the um, injury report that we have here, and they do it alphabetically. So, I'll go through everybody, give my opinion after that, like I've been doing, but just for anybody who's new to the show, so you know what's going on. So, they've got Jonathan Abram listed here as an illness. Uh, he didn't participate Wednesday and Thursday, but he was a full for Friday, so he's good to go. Malik Collins, shoulder injury. He was good to go. Full all week. Promising right here. Brian Edwards look like he, looks like he is back. Uh, he was full for both Thursday and Friday. So, going to have number 89 back in the lineup, which is really good. Um, they got Jonathan Hankins here listed as a non-injury related. Did not participate. But there's no questionable, doubtful. So, it looks like he's going to play. Jeff Heath. With a hip injury, he didn't participate in Wednesday or Thursday, but he was limited on Friday, which means there's a there's a shot he's going to play um, this upcoming Sunday. Uh, Rodney Hudson they listed for one day because it was not injury related. Maurice Hurst unfortunately is going to be out in this game. He did not participate at all this week. Um, but if you watched the Raiders game last week. When the way he got hurt, might not be seeing him on the lineup for the next couple weeks because it just it didn't look good. It didn't look good at all. Um, Gabe Jackson, they're saying he's got a back issue. He was limited uh, Wednesday and Thursday, but he was full on Friday, so he's good to go. Uh, Josh Jacobs, so Wednesday he was a full. Thursday he was a did not participate. And Friday he was limited. So he's officially limited, listed as questionable. And in my opinion, I think he's going to play. Um, I didn't like seeing that Theo, Theo Riddick was activated from the practice squad, but they just might be doing that because maybe, maybe Jalen Richard is not working. We don't know. But, you know, makes me a little bit nervous when they bring up another running back. Um, because he's, he played so well last week, and I just want to continue with that. But, but then again, next man up mentality, um, no matter what, who met, no matter who's playing and who's injured, next man up mentality, because I honestly think we're deep enough, deep enough on the wide receiver slash running back spots. Not crazy deep, but deep enough that a couple injuries won't kill us. You know, because like I said, Jacobs is out. You got Booker, who's been doing well. Rashard and Theo Riddick, great receiving running backs. I just think that 
honestly and truly, if Jacobs is out, it's going to suck. But I think that those three guys can work hard enough to give out the same production he would. Uh, next is Arden Key. Um, he did not participate all week, and he is out with a foot injury. Um, Colton Miller, he did not participate all week, and he's listed as questionable. That one there does not look good. And we're going to get into that after I get through the last two guys here. And then Sam Young with a knee. He was limited all week, but he's not listed, so it looks like Sam Young is going to play. Um, and then Trayvon Mullen, lastly, uh, hamstring. He wasn't listed on Wednesday, but he got listed on um, Thursday and Friday as limited. So he is questionable. Um, from the guys that, you know, have the questionable, you know, looks like Jeff Heath is going to play. I would think Jacobs is going to play, but they're just, there's that little thing in my head that's saying, well, why didn't they bring up Riddick? There's obviously a reason for it, but I just feel like Jacobs is going to play. Not very sure on Colt Miller. I He might not play this week, guys. And Trayvon Mullen... I just think that he's going to play. It's a big game for him against Keenan Allen to show how really, how really good he is. So overall, not too, too bad. Like I said, next man up mentality. Um, the thing I want to talk about, though, was the offensive line. And let's be honest, uh, Colt Miller being out is going to be a big deal. And you know it as well as I do. Sam Young is going to start the game. More than likely, though, he's not going to finish it. So you're going to be looking at guys like Brandon Parker, John Simpson, Denzel Good. Um, probably more Denzel Good and Parker uh, more than Simpson right now uh, to be the next man up for both um, Cole Miller and Sam Young. You know, hopefully Sam Young makes it through the whole game, but you, you understand what I'm talking about, Raider Nation. It seems like he gets hurt every single game. Um... But with Cole Miller being out, it's going to be a big ask for uh, Brendan Parker. Luckily, Joey Bosa isn't playing, but there's some other guys on that team that are very, very good. So, overall, not that scary of an injury report. Don't like seeing Jacobs on there. Really don't like seeing Cole Miller on there. But then again, the Raiders have been playing hurt all year. This is what they do, and they win. And you know that... The Chargers is going to be a really tough game, guys, but I really think the Raiders can pull it out and move it up to 5-3 and three because beat the Chargers, beat the Broncos. You're probably going to split the series with the Chiefs. You're sitting in the driver's seat for a wild card spot. And who knows? Maybe the Kansas City Chiefs go a little dry and start not playing well. Maybe we can jump over them. You never know. But when it comes to the AFC West, we're 1-0 right now. We need to be 2-0 by the end of uh, Sunday night. So we'll see you guys then. Unless there's any late-breaking Raider news. Um, like I said in the beginning, thank you guys for watching. Just remember to like and subscribe. I really appreciate it, and it really helps us out a lot. Comment below on your thoughts of the injury report. And like I said, be on the lookout for the live stream for every Raider game. And if there's any issue where I can't make it, you know the Big Tuna is going to let you guys know. And then on Monday afternoons, around 7 o'clock Eastern Time, we do the Monday afternoon NFL schedule, NFL Sunday schedule reaction show with myself, Mikel Sports. So we'll talk to you guys soon. Have a good rest of your night. And as always, let's go Raiders.